we go. That's one thing when the game starts, I don't even know where to go. Why did he... Why did he put down his item? This is a three gen here. Surprise attack. No, he knew. Wow. Good. I, I want him over here. He circled around again. Man. Blinks didn't go through. Boone's up there. Someone's behind me. There we go. All right, so we have a score chuck right here. All right, Jen there. Jen here. Jen here that they're on. You see, they're pretty efficient, so it feels like I should eliminate someone. They're really good. Someone needs to die quickly. We'll see. I don't know if they get value out of pain res again. I wasn't even this guy's second. Oh. Nice. Nice juke.
Collins Landing. I should have known that he was going up there. I figured he had it, but I was still trying to get the hit. are two hooks of already two hooks that's it that's third so we have these three gens here and then the one down there that they're about to finish guy in yellow is is death hook A deliverance. Break that three gen. Happens when you split up the hooks. Oh, of course he has that. Of course he has that. Flashlight. Wow. Look at that.
Oh man. Yeah, so far they've just been 2Ks. Lucky to even be getting that. Let's see if they give me some tea bags. Not there? Okay. Oh, he was there. Yeah, I mean, there were some nice blinks, but... I mean, even with it, even with the pressure and all the hoax and the downs, it's just, look how it's not enough. I mean... Granted, I don't have to 4K every game. I think it has to come... I really think it comes down to strategy. Because like I said, I tend to chase everybody, mix hooks, like I'm not, I'm not always thinking about like the big game. I'm thinking about like, oh, I'm on this chase right now and it's a challenge and I want to catch this guy. But sometimes it's the wrong thing to do. A lot of times it's the wrong thing to do is like, you're, you really shouldn't go for every chase that everybody's trying to take you on. If you're trying to win. You know, they'll waste your time, like the bring you to the corner of the map away from the gens. I kind of got lucky there and made somewhat of a comeback to kill two of them. But they were really efficient. See how I took that one chase that I really probably shouldn't have in the main building and they popped like the last two gens back to back pretty sure that they were a team at least a couple of them had to be because they were really efficient Brandon the Gamer, Slippery Mango, Raisin Brand, and Mio. Yeah, I tend to like, I mean, I like to go for the chases, but you don't have time for that really. That's the weird, well, not weird, but that's just how the game is. Like if you go on if I go on two really good long chases that are a challenge and it's fun, like all the gens will just be done with a, with an efficient team. They'll just pop all the gens and be out super fast. But if I were to play another killer that I don't that I haven't played as much, then I would have a much lower MMR. I'd probably be able to 4K a lot easier. But I think with Nurse, my MMR is up there, so I really get, I, I tend to get a lot of really good teams. But then I never know, and it's, sometimes it's like people that just uh, DC or die on hook, kill themselves on hook. Uh, yeah, it's rough when you play like that. I think that the players that are 4 king like every single game, like, yeah, Nurse is definitely most powerful, I would say, or or Blight, or the two of them. But the people that are 4 king every game are playing a lot more sweaty. They're slugging, and they're being very, I think, like, I don't know if the word's like systematic or strategic, very strategic in who they chase, who they don't chase, how far they chase or don't, or how long they chase, whether they hook or slug, like, and they're being very strategic and they tend to know where about everybody is in general. They have a very like overall good game sense of the map where the gens are where people are at all times i don't know how they keep track of it all what exhaustion perk everybody's running whether or not this player double backs a lot or holds w like they're able to read the survivor a lot so that the chases are shorter 
they're more accurate with their blinks. They don't miss nearly as much as I do. Or so. But I don't know. They probably have a lot more experience over the years. Like I've only been playing for a year. These people that I'm talking about, I, I, as far as I understand, have been playing for many years. And they understand the game like throughout all the aspects. And they're able to juggle all the things in their mind. Like I forget, like I, unless I'm consciously thinking of like who I hooked and how many times I hooked them, I tend to forget. And I don't realize like I'm chasing somebody who's never been hooked while the other three are on death hook and they're sitting on the gen, you know, popping the gen. When I should be chasing those other ones that are on death hook and leaving, just ignoring the one who hasn't been hooked. But I like to go on chases with everybody. Yeah, it seemed like a, a swift. They seemed pretty good. Then again, I've had teams where I thought were swifts that weren't. That played really well. And like, oh, you got a good swift. And they're like, we're solo queue. Like, you sure didn't play like it.